Wow. I really hope this media report is correct that I've just discovered in China. CATL, Cadel, the biggest battery company in the world, have kind of sneakily unveiled their 1,200 kilowatt charging sodium batteries. Um, guys, not long ago, within the last six months, I've made several videos saying that artificial intelligence predicts that sodium batteries will overtake lithium. I recently spoke at uh, the EV Auto Show with a panel of experts and my peers in Melbourne over the weekend, and they they disagreed with me. They said sodium is not going to really do anything. Well, actually, the facts are sodium iron is a game changer. There's a number of reasons why, but one of them is this. It's cheaper than lithium, and it charges faster. And the energy density is continuing to improve. Now, that wasn't one reason. Those are actually three reasons, wasn't it? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thank you for supporting the channel. And thank you to those of you who have become YouTube members. It's only a small amount of money and you get access to more videos. I'll put a link in the description below. What's going on here? Well, it appears as though Cadle's new battery pack, it looks like they've upgraded their Freevoy battery pack, which includes sodium. I believe it's a sodium and lithium battery, but it, the previous generation was. But it looks like this new generation could just be sodium. And it has 1,200 kilowatt charging speed capacity, 12C. Right, 12C is basically, that means 1,200 kilowatt. So you can see BYD and Cadle, the two biggest battery companies in the world, they're not standing still. This is very bad news if you are a South Korean battery manufacturer or a, an American battery manufacturer. These guys are improving so quickly. It's scary. Huawei's new ATO, their new EV, or I should say the new eRev, has a 12C sodium containing battery pack from Cadle. This is a, meant to be a high volume car. I believe it's the ATO M6, says Car News China. These batteries be produced at Cadle's first. Chongqing factory located at the series plant. So it's a factory within a factory, apparently. ADO is a joint brand, joint venture brand between Huawei and Series. I think it'd be better if they just called it Huawei. But anyway, this brand's been around since 2021. Series builds the platforms and manufactures the ADO. But basically, to be honest, Series does a lot of the work. Huawei does component supplying and software. It's responsible for domestic sales of ADO vehicles through the HEMA Harmony Intelligent Mobility Alliance network. Uh, anyway, all that's not that interesting, is it? What's really interesting is the series plant in Chongqing called Series Super Factory and this new battery. But this wasn't the only battery revealed. There's a bit of confusion here because on the slide, it showed this new sodium containing battery with 12C charging capability, which is 1,200 kilowatt, meaning you could charge a battery literally in probably about three, three or four minutes. I'm going to say four minutes, right? That's crazy. That's, you mean, that is just next level ballistic charging. And there's two different options of this car, right? The first is an E-Rev with the sodium containing free void battery. But if you want a fully electric car, it comes with Cadle's chill-in battery pack. Now, the Chillin battery pack is known as the CTP Celta Pack 3.0, a third generation Celta Pack battery technology developed by Cadle. Its energy density is similar to Tesla's 4680 battery cells, 255 watt hours per kilogram, but apparently they can squeeze more cells into a pack than what Tesla can squeeze in with the 4680 cells. So they're prismatic NMC battery cells and Kate will say, with these batteries, you can achieve a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. But it appears to me as though this might be a new version of the chill-in battery, possibly. Anyhow, on the slide, you can see it says, new sodium battery, condensed state, and NP2.0 thermoelectric separation. Now, I believe this is a reference to the condensed battery from Kato. The condensed battery has an energy density of the newest version of 450 watt hours per kilogram. If you put that battery, basically if you put that battery into any EV, right? Let's say you put an 80 kilowatt hour condensed battery into your EV, you're looking at a legitimate 800 miles of range, not kilometers, 800 miles, well over a thousand kilometers of range. So I don't think that battery is in any EVs yet, as far as I know, but when it is, it's going to be a game changer. 
The most important information about this vehicle, says Car News China, is the 12C technology. A 100 kilowatt hour battery pack would be able to handle 1,200 kilowatt, 1.2 megawatts. The 12C technology theoretically allows the battery to reach a full charge in under 10 minutes, but um, that's a full charge from zero to 100%, which is wild. So we don't know anything else about these batteries yet, but um, this shows you what's happening. And yes, it shows you that sodium ion batteries, the energy density is improving. We know that. Sodium ion batteries were about two years ago. Energy density was about 100 watt hours per kilogram. It's now at about 150. Not far off BYD's blade battery, right? I'm guessing the next generation sodium batteries will continue to improve. They'll probably go up to 170. Not long before we see sodium ion batteries being mass produced for EVs. And remember, sodium ion batteries have some big advantage. I mentioned before what some of them are. Charging speed, we now know, right? That's obviously enormous. But I'd say more important than that is the other factors, the price. That's probably the number one most important factor. Price is cheaper. I mean, Tony Sieber is saying battery pack prices will come down to $10 per kilowatt hour from the $55 per kilowatt hour that they're at now because of sodium. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Cato's saying prices will come down absolutely by 30%, which is massive. But also, sodium ion batteries are much better at handling cold temperatures than lithium. And that's why these hybrid batteries have popped up from Cadle. It's why Cadle's hybrid battery includes lithium cells and sodium ion cells in order to have the benefits the sodium ion brings with the cold weather, the ability to handle cold, mass, really, really cold temperatures and not really be affected at all. So you can see quite a few benefits from sodium ion batteries. And yes, despite the naysayers, they will have an enormous impact on the global battery market. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. This is officially the world's fastest charging battery by quite some margin. And we will see this battery go into new electric cars over the next six months. And uh, this is going to blow people's minds. I mean, the charging speed here is absolutely mental. The biggest battery company in the world, CATL, they have just unveiled, I believe, the most technologically advanced battery that mankind has ever seen which is insane considering the batteries that have been coming out of China over the last 12 months just keep getting better and better and better. But now CATL has one-upped absolutely everything. This new battery can charge in five minutes, but it can add 550 kilometers of range in five minutes, and it's capable of charging at speeds of 1,300 kilowatts. 1,300 kilowatt. My friends, I realize it sounds um, crazy. How do you get this kind of power in the first place to an actual charging station? But this is the future. The future is, it's, well, it's already here. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. Just want to big, say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Oh, guys, I really very much appreciate you and your support. CATL, obviously the world's biggest battery company uh, by a fairly wide margin over second placed BYD, had just unveiled the most advanced battery we've ever seen. The new Shensing battery. So the, the pre-existing Shensing battery was already pretty damn amazing. It uses lithium iron phosphate chemistry and it was considered by many people to be the most technologically advanced battery when it hit the market about 18 months ago but now well now the company have they've innovated pretty at a pretty impressive pace they don't slow down they don't just stop and go well i've got a great battery we'll, we'll stop there they actually have taken it to an entirely different level the shensing 2 this new battery right it's capable of charging at power exceeding 1.3 megawatts, which is what the, the Tesla Semi can theoretically charge at. But, I mean, they're saying exceeding 1.3 megawatts, so over 1,300 kilowatt charging speeds.